No, no, no. No, they've heard it before. Hey, busy bees. This is my life. <laughs> Hello. So today we are back for mom days. So many of you guys showed interest in wanting to see baby food. So today I'm gonna share with you what baby Erisi eats in a day. Keep in mind that I'm feeding her based on what a nine month old should be eating. So feel free to adjust as you're supposed to for earlier stages or later stages. If you guys wanna see more mom days or baby stuff on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and give Pooh Bear a big thumbs up. I'll go ahead and get started with showing you guys what I feed her for breakfast. So breakfast is probably the easiest meal of the day, for her at least. All I do is add a tiny little bit of bananas, which I will do right now. And she seems to like this meal the most, probably because it's a little bit tangy, sweet. I just started giving her bananas last week and she loves it. So just a tiny little bit of bananas like that. And then I'll add a tiny little bit of avocado for texture. Ooh, look guys, this is like a perfect avocado. Love it. So I'm just gonna scrape in like half of this and typically I save the other half for later for lunch or something. Or if I'm really hungry, I'll just make myself an avocado toast. But I will do that and then I'll just mash them together. That looks good. And then I just add about a quarter cup of yogurt and just mix it all together. Mix, mix, mix. So for the yogurt, I like using the thinner, runnier yogurt just because I feel like Greek yogurt is too thick and she doesn't like that texture. So I use like the European or the Australian style ones. You can find that at any grocery stores nowadays. But this is pretty much her breakfast. Looks yummy, right? She likes it. All right. Let's feed this to her. This is my favorite part. You guys, I actually share almost all my baby feedings on Instagram stories and it's probably my favorite part of the day. Sometimes it's a struggle because she... <laughs> all right, I need to stop talking and feed her because she knows what this is. Oh, you're big. So I try to leave it kind of chunky so that she can play with it in her mouth. The texture is good at this stage. When she was a little younger, I used to puree everything super smooth so that it would go down easily. Oh, okay. All right, you want to move on to lunch? So to make her lunch and dinner, I typically steam everything. I recently got this steamer right here by Allclad and it's like a game changer. It's big, it has like small holes at the bottom and pretty much it cooks everything evenly and fast, which is the most important part of this whole process. So lately I've been giving her kabocha squash, which is like a pumpkin slash butternut squash in taste. Um, I really like it and she does too. So here I cut them up really small, the pieces up really small and probably just like half a cup. And it in. And then half a cup of apples. And because I always like to add some kind of greens, this time she's having kale. Close the lid. 
and I'll let it steam for about five to eight minutes just until they're cooked through. I don't want to overcook them because I don't want to lose their nutrients. We're going to puree it anyway, so it's going to be totally good. She loves chicken, so usually I will just cook them up like this. Either I'll steam them or boil it. I know it's super bland, but it's okay. I don't like to salt it or anything, just keep it really simple. And sometimes, either for lunch or dinner, depending on how difficult she's being, I will tear some pieces up like this. And let her feed herself. She doesn't exactly have, she doesn't have any teeth yet, so I need to be careful to tear them up into really small chunks so that she can swallow or move them around in her mouth. So when I first started feeding Erisi solids, um, I heard that these things were really great, like this mesh feeder. Basically you put like fruits or meat or vegetables through here and let them kind of hold it and feed themselves. But I found that these made such a mess and none of the food actually got through. Like the avocados would just get stuck in there and it would be so messy to clean. So I don't know about you guys, but I just, decided to skip this process completely and just let her feed herself and it worked out really well. If you guys have ever used this, let me know what your um, experience was and if you guys like it or recommend it. But as you can see, she can feed herself just fine. The cutest thing about feeding her like whole solid foods like this is that she acts like a squirrel or a chipmunk. She keeps it in her mouth and later on I'll find it in her mouth. Still there's a piece of chicken in there. It's, it's so funny. She's saving it for later. Saving it for emergency food. Now in terms of feeding her solids and her milk intake, she still drinks milk. Um, she drinks milk on demand, so whenever she has hunger cues, I would give her a bottle and she would totally take it. Her weight and height is in the 65th percentile, so she's a pretty healthy baby and I'm so happy about that. She's not too picky of an eater. She'll pretty much eat anything. It's just it's just a struggle when she's not hungry or she doesn't feel like eating is when she starts doing these like raspberries like all over and it gets so messy. So we'll just take a break and we'll say like, okay, we'll feed you again when you're ready. And usually she'll take it again. All right, I think our vegetables are done. Alright, so to ah! ah! I'm giving a few more pieces. Okay, so to finish off the baby food recipe, here I have about half a cup of canned white beans. I like to use Great Northern Organic. Canned is totally fine. Add it to the blender. And then our chicken breast. I don't like to give her full chicken breast because I feel like that's too much, but I'll cook a full chicken breast and then I'll save um, half of it and just kind of feed it to her like this for the next few meals. And then use the other half for the baby food. Add it in. And then our cooked veggies. For the veggies, I forgot to mention earlier that you really could use any flavor combination that you'd like. I always add a little bit of fruit in there or at least a sweeter um, vegetable like green beans or um, carrots, sweet potatoes, just so there's a little bit of sweetness so that she would eat it. When we first started giving her solids, I didn't want to give her any fruits at all because I wanted her to eat all her vegetables. And, and the really interesting thing is she loves bell peppers. Who would have thought? Anyways, now I just add a little bit of water, maybe about a quarter to half a cup, and just give it a whirl. That's pretty much it. Oops, 
there's one piece right here. That's our baby food. It's super easy and so much more cost effective. Can you hold my hand? Okay. So now what I like to do is transfer them into these small four ounce jars. And I would... Hey, <laughs> okay? This would keep in the fridge for like a few days. But this would make about four to five servings. And then let's give her some right now and see if she likes it. If she opens her mouth again, she likes it. If she doesn't, she'll just go like this. <laughs> just really cute. I can't tell with this one. She did that too, but she also reopened her mouth. So let's try again. enjoy making our own baby food. If you guys want to see other flavor combinations that I've made, I have them in the highlighted IG stories on my Instagram page <laughs> at honeysucklebees. And then if you guys want full recipes for these too, they're always listed. They're always listed on my Instagram stories so you can take a screenshot or save. I hope you guys like the baby food ideas. It's not only cost effective, I think this whole thing only cost me like a dollar to make because I just use whatever groceries we buy for ourselves for the week and then use it for her food too. Also, it's a lot healthier, it's fresher, and it's a lot cheaper. I know one of these, like they sell at the grocery stores for like a dollar each. And this makes like four to five servings, maybe even six. So you're saving a lot of money here. Anyways, if you guys make your own baby food, I would love to hear what kind of baby food recipe combinations you like to do or what kind of struggles you're having with feeding your baby because I'm sure I could relate. Comment below and thank you so much for watching Mom Days. I'll see you guys on Sunday for a very fun Valentine's Valentine's Day gifting idea. Bye! Hey. No! Oh. <laughs> she just tooted! You okay? Alright. Baby guys, then. Thanks for being on the show with me today. Yeah. You say bye?